We're finally getting a couple nice days along the Crystal Coast with that live look outside. Pine Knoll Shores, the Atlantis Lodge cam force this morning. Uh, in the afternoon hours, we're also seeing those strong, gusty southwesterly winds now. That's why we've got a uh, orange and yellow flag out there. Uh, letting you know that we do have that uh, moderate rip current threat risk across the area. Decent amount of sunshine along the coastal areas, mid 70s there, upper 70s to near 80, but starting to see some of those fair weather cumulus clouds bubble up west of Highway 17. And we could even see maybe an isolated shower or thunder shower pop out of those later on today. You see those strong gusty winds that we are dealing with here, anywhere between about 10 to 15, some gusts of 20 to 25. As I mentioned earlier, we do have that haze in the atmosphere from that wildfire smoke coming down from Canada, but you'll also notice that we're starting to see not only those fair weather cumulus clouds bubble up, but there's the sea breeze front starting to press inland here. It's getting that time of year. The differences in temperature between the land and the water are creating that sea breeze front. Mid 80s is where we're headed to across the inland spots here this afternoon. Again, an isolated shower, a thunder shower around with it being a little bit more humid. Mid to upper 70s along the coast overnight tonight. Very similar to where we were this morning with those uh, mainly clear skies. Pleasant temperatures, upper 50s and low 60s for inland spots and mid to upper 60s along the coast. So we've got a big upper level low swirling here across the Gulf of Maine. That's pulling a cold front south of the Great Lakes. And that front is going to continue to sink southbound. The high from yesterday is well out over the ocean. Uh, but as we go through the day tomorrow, we'll start off with some sunshine, but further off to the north by the afternoon and evening hours, we'll track some scattered showers and thunder showers around. That slides on to our south. The high pressure slides in from the north, and that's going to allow us to see a decent amount of sunshine in here, but slightly cooler temperatures as we do head on in through the afternoon hours on Thursday. Again, we are watching that wildfire smoke. It does settle down here in the Carolinas with another surge of it coming our way as we head on in through the end of the week. But maybe by then we'll actually start to see the jet stream reconfigure a little bit and send that smoke back up in the northern mid-Atlantic states. Isolated showers in here for Friday and again late Sunday going into Monday. Of course, by then we're talking about big rock getting going.